Welcome to my video on how to install 15 amp circuit breaker in your panel. Uh, you may have a panel which is 100 amp or sometimes 200 amp depending on your house needs. The reason I ended up doing this video is that a circuit in my room that was supplying current to my appliances like DVD and TV and lights and all that uh, it would repeatedly fail. It was very annoying. Uh, so I checked to make sure none of them are uh, short circuiting, but didn't find any, uh, any problem like that. Uh, that's when I decided it looks like a circuit breaker may be the problem. So I went ahead and tried to solve that problem. Uh, my house is using uh, a circuit a square D circuit breaker. Uh, let me show you that. Uh, this is the kind of uh, single pole uh, circuit breaker, which is available in any hardware store. Uh, but in your house, you may have different brands. So make sure uh, it is what brand it is and you buy the same brand from the store. Uh, whether it's a single pole like this, this is single pole uh, or multiple pole uh, or any other number of poles, <clears throat> uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you need to follow a certain procedure and precaution to replace a circuit breaker. Uh, make sure you replace your circuit breaker with the same amp size. So this is 15 amp. Uh, and uh, there are 20 amp also. So you have to make sure you buy the same amp size uh, circuit breaker. Uh, uh, second thing is that uh, I will show you how to slide that circuit breaker into the panel because uh, it has to be put in certain position and snap into this panel in a in a specific manner so in general every circuit breaker has a, a hot wire neutral wire and ground wire but since i'm replacing the one existing one i'm not going to show you how to rewire neutral wire and ground wire, no need to do that because all I'm going to change is put a hot black wire into this circuit breaker and just replace the circuit breaker. Uh, so let us look at the panel and what is inside and review it. Uh, so let's go there and do that. Typically, every home has a panel box just like this and when you open the panel door you will see something like this with all the circuit breakers lined up in left side and right side, <coughs> right side. some are 15 amps some are 20 amps in my case all my circuit breakers are using square d as i mentioned and mostly 15 amp and 20 amp circuit breakers uh, here is a closer look at the circuit breaker that I need to replace. Uh, it is 15 amp circuit breaker, which I need to replace. Uh, again, here is the circuit breaker I bought from the Lewis. It's same square D brand and same 15 amp circuit breaker. As you can see, the main thing is to learn how to insert the circuit breaker into the panel once you are ready to do so. So first step is to remove the panel cover. So as I show you here, this will involve loosening up the side of the panel from the wall since sometimes over the years the paint may be stuck to the panel or sometimes panel was installed with some glue. 
So it's a good idea to loosen it up with uh, utilities now. Right? We need then to take out the screws that are holding the panel. You can go one by one on each side and make sure you take it off uh, properly. So here is what you will see inside the panel box. A main feed at the bottom is, uh, is coming into this panel. And then you can see that there are multiple circuits feeding different rooms in your house. And in fact, different areas in the same room, you may have different circuits feeding to different outlets. Uh, now before doing anything, I check that before shutting off my main switch, <clears throat> I can see that I have a voltage of 120 volt for most of the circuit in the panel, which is what I expected. As you can see in the meter, it shows 120 amp, sorry, 120 volt. Uh, and then I went ahead, turned off the switch, main switch, and measure it again to make sure that now it reads zero volt. Please make sure that is what you see, very important. So, uh, I had shown before there is a groove and a hot wire connection screw on one side of the circuit breaker and then there is actual connection slot on other side of the circuit breaker where our power is going to get connected. The way you want to insert the circuit breaker is to insert the groove part first, and then you push it forward so that power slot is connected to the power. So let me show you how you pull out the bad circuit breaker from the panel. And as you can see, I'm using a screwdriver to pull it out first from the back end, and then it is easy to pull it out. And as you can see, there is this hot black wire connected to the circuit breaker. And all I, ha all I have to do is disconnect the black wire from the old one and connect it to the new one. And uh, as I showed you before, you can then insert the new one like this. First, the groove part on the left side and push it and snap the power slot side into the panel. Now you go ahead and turn on the main switch. Uh, in your case, it might be outside near the electric meter. So make sure you turn on, turn on that uh, main switch. Uh, that's all. This is how you change circuit breaker. Uh, hopefully the 15 amp will hold the circuit. Thank you for watching.